Hey friends, Tyler Patner here. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, what you get when you buy a spring gun and uh, more specifically, what you get at different price levels, what your dollar gets you in the wide world of springers and gas pistons because there are a lot of different guns out there these days and it can be really hard to navigate what you need, what you don't need, what's a feature and what's kind of marketing hype. So we're gonna try and give you a quick overview to help uh, maybe diffuse a little of that confusion. So starting at the lower end, you know, this is uh, Crossman Vantage NP. This is your basic brake barrel. Now this has a gas piston inside of it, um, but a lot of these guns in this kind of $100, $150 price point may be available with the gas ram, may be available with the spring. What you go for is up to you. I'd recommend a gas piston for anybody that has not shot a spring or gas piston gun before just because the recoil these guns produce is a little bit weird and can be a little bit difficult from a hold sensitivity perspective to get used to and a gas ram's a little bit, it, it shortens that learning curve. Um, but 177.22, you know, we've talked about calibers in the past and really something to consider is what you're gonna do with the gun. If you're target shooting, 177 is fine. Uh, if you're gonna do pest elimination, go for a 22. But this is really a no frills gun. You have open sights. Uh, you're gonna be able to mount a scope on the 11 millimeter dovetail, but you can't expect anything great in terms of trigger quality or maybe how the gun feels. Uh, it, it's gonna have a considerable amount of recoil. You're gonna feel it. Uh, and it's not gonna be the most pleasurable thing to shoot when you start to compare it to some of those higher end guns. But as you go up in price, you're obviously gonna get more. So what does more look like? Well, this uh, Gamo Swarm Fusion is a great example. You have uh, some sound suppression built into this gun, obviously on top of having open sights, but you also have a multi-shot system. Now this is something we've seen get more popular over the last couple of years. Uh, and this means you're not having to fiddle with pellets every shot. You load the magazine and you're able to cock it and uh, flip that barrel back up and you have your next shot ready to go, which is awesome. They also have uh, on this particular model, their recoil reducing rail built in, which is supposed to help you know increase the longevity and the life of the scope as well, since that is something you have to consider also. A lot of the scopes that come in these packages with guns are not necessarily the greatest. Uh, in addition to that, you're also gonna get an adjustable trigger with this gun, which is uh, a, definitely a nice upgrade. It's not a match grade trigger, but it's gonna be a heck of a lot better than what you're gonna find on your basic stuff. Uh, you're gonna get a nice all weather stock. There's plenty of wood stock options as well, but a nice thumb hole stock that feels really good in the hand and the gun's gonna handle very nicely for you. But as you go up in price to what we would consider the top end, the Y-Rock HW97K absolutely represents one of the very best spring guns you can buy. And it is a spring gun, not a gas piston like these other two. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but that gun is going to shoot like a dream right out of the box. It has a true match grade trigger, uh, and while it is single shot, what you'll notice immediately is that it's a fixed barrel, it is not a brake barrel. So you can expect much better or, or more consistent shot to shot accuracy than you might see out of some of these brake barrels. Uh, overall, this gun is going to be like a Rolls Royce to your uh, Lexus to your Hyundai, right? Like this this is how you can kind of put your uh, world together in, in the spring gun realm, but you can expect a really smooth shooting experience and a gun that's really heirloom quality and is gonna last a lifetime, something you're gonna be able to pass on for generations. Now, of course, there are tons of air guns out there, so this is just a small representation of a good, better, and best, but it does apply across the board. The more you spend, you're gonna get a better quality gun 99% of the time. So keep that in mind when you're looking. If it takes you an extra month to save up some cash to get up to that next price level and quality tier of gun, it's well worth it in the long run. Trust me, I speak from experience, all right? Uh, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it a ton. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. What spring guns do you have in your collection? And what are you eyeing up next? And we'll see you at the next one.